dribble, the most fundamental move in the game. But with a little bit of skill and a whole lot of style, it's so much more. Hit this last shot. Ooh, yo, I got Street ball legend Ray for Austin earned his nickname, Skip to my Lou, because of his signature move, the skip dribble. So set your style free, become the man with the magic handle. I'm living in my hoop tree. Yo. Get props on any court, and if you're lucky, find your own, very own signature dribble. This is the main event, try to tell all the York. This is the main event, king of the street ball. Let's face it, when the whistle blows, I go all out. This is for anyone who put my game in doubt. I'm still in tour, still main event on the floor. I'm Wally Dixon, a.k.a. Main Event. And you're down with Sports Cool. It's time to put some cool in it. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Main Event, I tried to tell all of y'all, this is the main event. Ball handling skills. You must... Know the ball. This is the main event. It's with your baby. This is your boyfriend, your girlfriend. You must know the ball. <laughs> this next technique is fingertips versus palm. Fingertips, palm. You just finessing, showing your cool. Get some player, doing what you do, you're using more of your fingertips. But when it's time to get to the rack, to get that bucket, you gotta put a little bit more, you gotta have a little bit more control with the ball. So how do you get control? You're using more of your hands and your fingertips, as you can see. You know you got your fingertips on the ball, you wanna make a strong move, palm. This next skill, the crossover, changed the game. Very, very deadly weapon if you practice it right. To refresh your memory, Michael Jordan, Allen Iverson. Michael Jordan was on the defense, Allen Iverson was doing the crossover, had Jordan all crossed up. You want the defense to think you're going to the right with your foot. Watch my feet work as it changes direction. What makes it the crossover is you got your body weight that's going to the right. When you cross and your body change pivots to go to the left, you dribble to the right, you cross it over, and your left leg. See how it goes? I'm not going to dribble and go this way. That's wrong. You want to cross the ball over. Cross over, left hand. You want your eyes to be looking to the right. You want that man to think you're really going to the right. Get him going, then you cross over. A good way to practice your ball handling skills, use these cones. These cones represent your defense. Imagine every defense. Right now, we're going to go over the crossover dribble. Joe here will display the crossover dribble. As you can see, Joe used his head was straight up to change his direction and to change his speed. Put all three together, it's a perfect crossover dribble. <laughs> now that we covered the crossover dribble, it's time to add another skill, and that's between the legs. Once again, you start from the crossover position, you cross the ball over right through your legs. Show you again. Now your body is going from the right to the left and back to the right. And stay as low to the ground as possible and keep your head up. So we'll try that drill right here. You have to cross over through the legs back to the right. The fundamental with between the legs dribble, you must keep your head up. And just don't be going through your legs, you'll be going through your legs. You want to know when to go through your legs. The defense guy is hovering your right side, go through your leg. He's going to shift over. But you got to know what's your next move. Go back through your legs. You get him rocking, get him thinking. Go through, go through, and then and go right by him. <laughs> you can do this drill while you're at home watching. Keep your head up. Ball head, ball head. Switch sides, ball low. The 
fast as you do it, the closer you are to the ground, the defense cannot stop you. So you want to lull him to sleep with the between the legs. Go right by him. Ty will display the between the leg dribble. Keep the dribble low. When you go between your legs, remember it's a lullaby, your man is asleep. So you're going through your legs, you want to explode that next way you're going to go. So it's through your legs, explode. Through your legs, explode, right or left. The next skill is a basic behind the back dribble. Just don't come down court throwing the ball behind you. You want to have your man, once again, it's all about you and your defender. You want your defender to think you're going one way and you go the other way. So to go behind the back, it just can change the direction. Similar to the crossover, like this, but you're doing it behind your back. So it's a crossover behind your back. Go with the man hard, cross the direction behind your back. What's important about the behind the back dribble, pay close attention to my feet work. I want, I want the guy to think, my defensive guy, think I'm going to the right. See my left leg? When I get ready to go behind my back, it's changing. Don't give away the move. Don't have your hand waiting for the ball. The defensive guy has no clue what you're going to do with the ball. You don't want to come at him, look him dead in his eyes. You're going, but you want to change the direction. That's all the behind the back is. It can help you change the direction. Another good dribble to have your defender lopsided so he don't know what you're going to do. If you think he have all your coolness down pat, which I don't think he will, it's a fake behind the back dribble. It's like a stutter step. But as you can see, my hand is actually turned like I'm going behind my back. So you got to look at my back hand. It's like this. So I'm doing the same move. My body going to do the same. My feet going to be the same. Fake behind. Now this is when you want the defensive guy to act like you're going behind your back. So you put that hand there now. So you're putting that hand there. Pay close attention to my right hand as well as the left hand. So it's slow motion your hand like this. It's like you're bowling. Now that you have the behind the back skill, Let's add something else. Behind the back, inside out. If you're dribbling low with the basketball, that's exactly what it says. Inside, out. So it's inside, out dribble. Inside, out dribble. Inside, out. Watch my hand. My hand is going inside, out, like that. That's the inside, out dribble right there. Watch this, real quick. So when you make this move right here, the defensive guy think you're going to go that way because you're showing the ball the inside. And then you're coming back out, so and then go, go to your direction. Either hand, whether you're left or right. Inside out dribble. Change the speed, ball low, head up. Kirby, demonstrate. You see Kirby, his whole body was swaying. So the defense have no idea what you're going to do. All he sees is a wave in front of him. They have no idea what he's going to do. And at the end of your power, that's when you go into the next move. Another skill that will have your defender frozen is a spin move. What it is, I'm going to do a slow motion. You want to dribble towards your man, throw the ball here, left hand. Watch where I drop the ball at. I'm coming to you, I want to spin, the ball is here, right in my left hand. Put a little speed to it. Actually, you're putting the ball where your left hand is when you spin. When you're halfway around your spin, you're putting the ball right here. My left hand is here. When I spin, it's here, but think of it still being here. That's where the ball's gonna go. 
Watch my feet work also. You can use this spin move in the open court as well in the one-on-one -on -one setup between you and your man, mano y mano. Remember, technique, keep your head up, ball dribble low, and use this spin move to have your defender frozen. The next skill is the stutter step juke move, one of the moves I use in my repertoire. When the defense is about three feet away from you, you want to run at him full speed like you're going to run him over. What's very important is your feet. Because your feet, you got to hear this right here. You got to hear that. If you don't hear that, the move is a dead move. Instead of step juke move is so deadly because you're also changing speed. Go to your full speed stop and go right by him. Use the move to your advantage, disadvantage for the defense. Next move, I use it in my repertoire. But you have to practice. It's called the comeback spin. You want to dribble, have your opponent thinking you're going to throw the ball at him, but the ball actually spins back to you. And at least a little time your opponent freezes, when the ball comes back, you go right to your next move. So you dribble the ball, you dribble it, you throw it to him when the ball comes right back. We're doing it in slow motion a little bit. Throwing it out, and the ball comes back. So you're thinking the ball coming to you, but it never do. All about the fingertips and the flick back of the hands. Got to work on that, got to work on that. Flinging it back to you. So you're dribbling, and you're actually throwing the ball like you're going to pass it out with your fingertips. Brings the ball back to you. You know, it's really a reaction move. It gets the defensive player a little bit startled. He won't know what you're going to do. He worrying about the ball hitting him in his face. But it's really not. It's coming right back to you. And you go into the next move. This is truly a certified street ball move. You will not see it in the NBA, but you will be taught it on Sports Cool. Main event snatch back. You can use this move, the snatch back, one on one, open court, fast break, it doesn't matter. Only you know what you're gonna do. Fake lose the ball, get it back. Now watch my feet. I'm gonna dribble, throw the ball. See my feet? It's like I'm going that way. But I'm snatching the ball back, pushing right out with my left. You're just flicking the ball, you're coming down, you're flicking the ball, you're gonna reach for it, and then you snatch. So the minute he reach, you snatch. Dribbling. Style meets grace yeah. on the fly. This is the main event trying to tell all the y'all. This is the main event king of the street ball.